Uh, there's a TOS on 1604. Okay, thank you. And this is the story of how I found this man and tricked him into giving me an interview. But the craziest thing about all of this is that it was all an accident. Because originally I was traveling to Harrison, Arkansas, because based off the videos I've seen online, it's America's most racist town. <laughs> And as I have a lot of history trolling racists. That's that's street. That's what's uh what's Nico's uh Twitter? I wanna fucking see him. Um I'm supposed to be talking to Gideon tomorrow, I think, but I don't know. Um I don't know what's going on with that. He hasn't really uh, responded to me since. But let me see. Nico. NDL ringside. Here it is, bruv, following. Can you since he's banned? No, no, no. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have, uh, I can't have him on stream, Jiddy and I mean. Um, so I was just going to, I was just going to have a conversation with him. I don't know if he wants to do anything about it or. He doesn't like Nico, by the way. It's what? What is All right, let's taking our rises, they're taking the lot. And they took your teeth as well. Yeah, they did. I thought I was definitely qualified to go down there to see this town for myself and find out if it really is racist. <sighs> So I traveled from London all the way to Northwest Arkansas. We're here! Just L, okay? Just don't do that. Listen, listen, oi, bravs. Don't try this at home, yeah? Don't try this shit at home, yeah? Don't do it, friend. Well, we're not here yet. We have to get a taxi, and then we're going to be there. And unfortunately, there were no taxis. So I had to try and hitchhike my way into getting someone to drive me all the way to Harrison, which is a two-hour journey. You to Harrison? Yeah, Harrison, yeah. What's um, so basically, we hear it's the most racist town in America. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. That's why you came? Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I came so the whole way. I'm saying we get a road trip to Harrison. I really want to take you. I have to catch a movie, but I'm... Let me see. And what time's your movie? It's at 10. I, yeah, I, I think you can pull it off. You think? I think so. <laughs> you think you can pull it off? You think you can take us to Harrison? I can do it. You guys have like... Uh, yeah, 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 we're not killers, we're not killers. First thing we have to do, we just have to prove that we're not killers. Here's the passports. This is where I just get out the zip tie and, uh, and choke you. Oh! No, it's not funny. Dude, have you guys heard much about Harrison? They had like a they had like headquarters there. I saw a video on YouTube last year. Somebody like tapped Black Lives Matter sign and people were telling him like, don't leave it after dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. I say after dark. About 10 minutes, I'm going to be back. You better be fucking gone. Definitely. One of those towns that if you are a minority, don't stop for gas there if you can avoid it. Okay, so it's like that. And you feel like I should be nervous going? Uh, I would be a little more nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, George. What I don't know why, like, the experiences of other Arkansan people about this town oftentimes is, like, mentioned in videos, but then they literally will fucking be like, but we went there and nothing bad happened. And it's like, okay, well, like, <laughs> obviously they know, you know what I mean? Hassan, now you got to go there. I, can, I really do want to go there, except I can't chat because I am the most oppressed minority, an atheist. And if they find out that I'm an atheist, dude, they'll kill me. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't stop with that one. That one is so good. And a gamer, an atheist gamer. What are we getting ourselves into? This? this was already sounding like a bad idea, and to make things worse, Daniel told us a story about his friend who went to high school there. So your friend... He's black, right? He found a noose in his locker one time, and every day after school, he didn't and stick around any longer than he needed to. He went straight to his mom's car to pick him up. Jesus Christ. God, man, what? For real, what, what are we getting ourselves fuck? into? <laughs> that city is literally not racist, Lamau. Bro, there's 13,000 people in that city. You would, like... Statistically speaking, it's probably difficult for you to fucking find, uh, you know, uh, 
Like, it, it's just like a tiny fucking town. Of course, of course, there's like normal people. I've talked about this when I was reacting to the Gideon video too. It's like, obviously, dude, there's normal people everywhere, okay? And and not, it's a town, not a city. Yeah, it, 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 there's just normal people everywhere. Like, I don't think, I don't know why people don't understand. Like, dude, somewhere having like, uh, like a lot of fucking racist people doesn't change the reality that they're like living alongside people like you. Half this fucking chat lives in like an incredibly racist neighborhood, most likely, okay? Like, dude. And and by the way, there is no distinction either. Like, sundown towns are a real concept, okay? They're a real concept it, it, uh, throughout American history. Uh, that's why there's the Green Book, right? Uh, specifically telling black travelers around the country not to go to certain places. Uh, that was a necessity for survival back in the day. And uh, obviously, there are historical remnants of that that still exist in American culture and American attitudes and the the violence that, uh, you know, uh, marginalized people are subjected to uh, are subjected to it on a more systemic, more invisible level, right? So um, that it does not change the reality that, like, it, anecdotally, you might not have a bad experience, okay? Like, you, you might not have a bad experience anecdotally when you're going there. Not saying that he's not going to have that. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. It just doesn't change the... Re it doesn't change the reality, though. Do, do you know what I mean? The reality that, like, sundown towns exist or systemic uh, discrimination exists in a lot of these places in America, regardless of whether or not people are, like, immediately call hate criming you. Uh, the moment that you step foot uh, in a, a black area, or I mean, not a black area, as a black person in a in a uh, fucking uh, predominantly white area. Why are you scared? You should be smiling right now. This is probably safer than England for you. <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty much here. This is, um, I believe, to be Harrison. We're a couple minutes away from our hotel and then uh, we're going to start exploring. Thank you so yeah. much, my friend. I do want to give you some cash because obviously you drove us all the way down here. Thank you. That's $300. Thank you so much. Here we go. That's dope. <laughs> so I waved off our good friend Daniel and just like that, we had arrived in the most racist. Racism victims disappointed people aren't racist enough. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I don't want people to misunderstand what I'm saying, by the way. When I describe this, I'm going to be super careful because, like, people got mad at me last time. Well, a lot of people, but, like, Janine fans got mad at me and said I was, uh, you know, holding an L or whatever. But, like, when I talk about this, I'm not talking about it, like, from the point of view, like, oh, man, like, how, what a bummer. Like, he didn't get to experience that, you know, nice little uh, seasoning of racism. Like, I'm just trying to describe the reality. This town in America. Time to go into this hotel. It is actually on the uh, National Register of Historic Places. So uh, now you're so dumb. Wait, why? What did I say? Mental stuff has gone down here. Hello, how you doing? Canadian fans aren't people. Oh, shut the fuck up, chat. You guys are literally like, when I read your when I read your comments, you know people use that in videos now. Like they they don't even have the charitability to be like, oh, he was just reading a comment out loud. And then you fucking knowing that you still come in here and you try to make like stupid fucking jokes. And then I read it and then I get in trouble. Okay. And then you get in trouble. I bet they're going to twist uh, what you said it as. No, when I said not people, I meant like not normal, just not Normans, like randoms. Okay. Not like a broader audience of people, just a specific group of people. And by that, I mean fans of Keemstar for the most part. Okay. Brenda, I'll be here until 11 tonight. Perfect. If you want torture, just come down and I'll torture you. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk again, Brenda. Now, if a lift ever felt like a horror movie, it's this one. Here we go. Now, we just got to go explore the town a little bit. Brenda, where's best for like nightlife here? Good luck. <laughs> down to the end. We might get down to the square. The square? Off we go into the darkness. Now, this one. This feels scary. You know, I'm actually scared. Yeah. I'm a black. <laughs> oh, I wonder why, George. To be honest, going out late in a town that is seen <laughs> as the most racist town in America alone. I wouldn't say after dark, man. Might be the stupidest thing I've ever done on this channel, and that is saying something. I presume this is the square, and 
This place is dead. And just like that, we stumbled across our first local resident of Harrison, Arkansas. We're new to this place. We're just filming a documentary for the BBC. Okay. Where's it popping? Where's the nightlife going on? There is not really a nightlife in this town. No nightlife? No. Nothing? No. No. This is... Bro, there's 13,000 people that live there, bro. What, what nightlife? <laughs> what we call the square. As you man, th man think this look like Manchester. Man's not seeing this a 13,000 person town, bruv. It's Arison, bruv. It's Arison, Arkansas. There ain't no nightlife here. Everything is absolutely closed right now. And it is what? Like 9.30 on a Saturday? Yeah, it's crazy. You got any friends around here? Uh, we're actually playing uh, card, card shop right down there. Can we join you? Uh... Thank you so much for letting us go. Sorry, what's your name? Oh, Richard. Richard Nicholas. And oh Richard my God. Oh no. Of the N words. Oh, oh this is up. fucking Let's awesome. So I just picked a card to play. Magic I'm the Gathering, the bro. Power. What card does he play? This is Shipwreck Marsh. I'm just going to play my blood script. I'm going to play Evolving Wilds. We played a game called Magic the Gathering. Bro, he found literally the actually most marginalized people in Harrison, by the way. Okay. That straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. The most marginalized people in uh, in in Harrison are are Magic the Gathering nerds, dude. Oh my god! And I was claiming to. This be makes me so happy seeing this shit, dude. This is awesome. I love. Look, look at them, dude. They're just fucking. They're having so much fun. I love seeing shit like this. You know, it doesn't matter how fucking bumfuck your town is or whatever. You still got like a group of friends that you get to hang out with. That is one of the that's one of the best things that you can just like uh, focus on your hobbies and shit like that. The only MTG I care about, frankly, is Magic the Gathering. Yeah, no, they're just happy. They're just fucking hanging out, bunch of nerds nerding out. That's awesome. Be a pro, but honestly, I had never played it before in my life, and I think it was obvious. Draw card. Yeah. No, okay. A draw card. Got you. All right. So. Draw card. Yeah. Draw card. No. From your deck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But then I became a prestige 1000 level wizard and earned all of my fellow magicians respect, which meant I could ask them to tell me the truth about this town. We were sent here on behalf of the BBC because we were told that Harrison is actually the most racist town in America. We get a lot of hate about Harrison being a racist but town. It's not that everybody here is that way. It's just that there was a history in the past. Yeah. So whereabouts are they? It's a place called uh, Zinc. 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 It's a, it is like a few hundred people. And there's a, a guy that runs a church down there that it has a small group of like guys that come out and march and do things. But they come here or they buy a billboard right outside of our town. They don't do anything where they're at. So these racist places, as a black person myself, it doesn't make sense for me to go to at all. No, it would, no. it would. What would they do if they saw me? Trust me, if you went there, you would not be welcome. Just you driving through the town, you are darker skinned than they are. The police will pull you over, and they will strip your car from one end to the other because they assume because you're different that you're probably also a criminal and after. I mean, there are places where if you Very walk through so. there. I don't think people get that. Like, I, I don't know why, like, this is it's so strange for people. Like, have you never, like, when I see this stuff, I, I mean, if you're white, I, I understand why you don't understand it. But, like, do you not have any, like, I don't know. Do you not have any black friends? Like, have you never road tripped through a fucking southern state? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's an anecdote, but uh, I've never been in a circumstance where, like, road tripping through a southern state uh, if you are driving through a southern state and you're on the highway and you have black people in your car, dude, that's, you're, you know, there's a likelihood that you might get uh, pulled over. It's happened too many times every single time that we have traveled on the East Coast um, going down to Florida or going down to South Carolina. Like <laughs> You said black people live in southern states. Yeah, no shit. I'm not, <laughs> I know that. I'm sure it happens to them more often. The time way people can comprehend this shit is when they're in the hood and they make sure their doors are locked. I'm in a small town in Michigan. Our police are notorious for this. Yeah, I mean, 
this is kind of, I mean, there's so much empirical evidence for this too. It's not like anecdotes. Um, it's not just anecdotes. Like the anecdotes correspond to the empirical evidence and the reality, right? I mean, black people are more likely to be pulled over. Black people are less likely to be pulled over at night. Because at night, black people are less likely to be pulled over because you can't tell who's in the car, if it's a black person or a white person or not, because it's dark out. So like, th there's so much evidence for this that it's like, you know what I mean? It, it, I don't know what to say other than that. What do you mean? What the fuck? Oh, no. Chat misunderstood me. Oh, come on, chat. No, it's harder to see at night who's driving the car, you fucking weirdos. Like, that, that's literally a truth. It's a, this is like an actual fucking stat. I can't believe that, like, it's one of those things where, like, people are questioning me on fucking, like, racial statistics in policing. It's literally what I do for a living. This is what I talk about. There's a town right across the river from New Orleans, highest arrest rate per capita in the country, Gretna. Um, yeah, I mean, research shows black drivers are more likely to be stopped by police. Um, black people are more likely to be escalated to an additional altercation at police stops. Um, and also that uh, statistics show uh, that, uh, yeah, darkness reduces racial bias. Literally, black drivers get pulled over by police less at night when their race is obscured by the veil of darkness. Stanford study finds, like, literally. <laughs> I wasn't making it up. Or, and also, I wasn't, uh, you know, or I know some of you took this as a joke. You're like, oh, black people can't be seen in the dark or whatever the fuck. That's not what I was saying, you fucking weirdos. So... You know, I, I know it's like fun to, you know, uh, as uncharitable as possible to me in this very moment. But like, remember that like you, uh, everything you say will be used against you chatters in this situation. Cause like people are, people love taking this shit uh, out of context. Mental. This was honestly a shocking start. The stuff they were telling me was so bad. It didn't sound like real life. And although these guys seem cool, I mean, I even took Rich's number. I still needed to dig deep. I love these guys. That was just one group's opinion. So I went and found this bar to speak to. So many, so many of you motherfuckers are those guys living in a fucking red state, living in like a dry town or whatever, having fun with your friends, you know, watching the Hasanabi broadcast. And that's, it, I, I love that. That's dope. To a few more people. We've seen like reports online that this area is the most racist town in America. But they actually they live in zinc. Huh? They, they live, live in zinc. Zinc? Yeah. So who is the racist in zinc? Oh, I, I, I can't think of his name right now. I but, can, but I won't say it. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, 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 what's, what's the name? I won't, oh, I won't, you won't say, say it. it. He's got a little group together over in I think in zinc. a little church. So there, there's a mystery man in zinc who is the leader of the racist group. Is it safe in Zinc? No, there's some people. Bro, I, I can't tell if he's like trying to get the information out of them for content. Like, did he actually not know that he's like, it's the clan? That live there. Would they like people like me? Don't think so. Oh yeah, he's well, doing it for content, right? Like, yeah. Until maybe two years ago, I was stunned by it. How secret it was. Kept. Yeah. You are so wise, Gandalf. What, what is the name <laughs> of, the, of the Grand Master in Zinc? I can't. You can't say his name. He shall I'm not be not, named. No, I'm not scared of him. He, dude, look at these lips, dude. They're so awesome. They're so cute, bro. He's an old grandfather retired, <laughs> like me. I mean, he's... But you are good, and he is bad. Like, what is his name, Gandalf? I can't tell you. Clearly some dark magic must happen when you say this man's name. But from our first night, we found out some very interesting information, which were helping me build an opinion on Harrison, Arkansas. What I'm thinking so far is everyone who I've spoken to seems proper nice and welcoming. They're telling me that the people in this town aren't racist, but it's just one area that just so happens to be very racist. And there just so happens to be a mystery leader who is like the most racist man in the world, it seems. So like, I feel like we should dig into that a little bit, but we're also being warned away. I don't know if we're gonna end up risking our lives for YouTube. We'll find out. Again. Again. 
the they CEO. Too. This is my opinion. The CEO raises a voice to explore the town. James, I'm Shush. Say that one more time. Shush. Shush? Yeah. Okay. But the same things carried on getting repeated. The racism's honestly out towards Zeke. That's yeah. what I keep hearing. It's Zeke. Uh, because that's where the retired Grand Wizard of the KKK is. Interest. The Grand but Wizard. He, honestly, a lot of people don't care for him in Harrison. You know, we're not racist. You know, most people, you can go down to almost any store and most of them aren't racist in the least bit. So it, it's... That zinc shit is too regular for it not to be a little sus. They're like, nah, that's where the professional races live. I mean, of course, if you're like, bro, nobody sees, nobody even recognizes their own racism. You know what I mean? Obviously, even if you're liberal, even if you're like well-intentioned in most circumstances, like you can still have residual fucking, uh, you know, anti-black attitudes that come from growing up in a country that teaches you a lot of white supremacist bullshit. And that kind of attitude is also reinforced through uh, systemic discrimination. Right. And then add on top of that, uh, living in a segregated uh, community. Right. Not like personally segregated. I don't know the history of Arkansas Harrison, but, um, you know, segregated in the sense of like there's not I looked at the demographics it's like a 13000 person town. But I don't know how many black people live there, but like probably not a lot. Right. Um, and, and people themselves will like, uh, especially in a heated moment, like when the uh, when the George Floyd protests were happening uh, and, and someone comes in with a Black Lives Matter uh, you know, with a Black Lives Matter sign, like, yeah, people are going to react uh, aggressively to that. Even if they themselves don't think that they're racist and racist themselves can be polite as well. None of this, like, changes the reality about systemic discrimination that occurs. None of this changes the reality about police brutality, right? But of course, the reason why everyone points to it, 93.57% white, two or more racist, 4% Native American, 067 uh, Black or African-American, 0.62%. That's okay, yeah, like that. Um, so there are 53 black people in Harrison, 53. Um, was it, I'm, I'm half black and I said super shit as a kid that was perceived as racist and I didn't know until my black friends pointed it out to me. Oh, you're, I mean, it, it's no one's fault really. Like it's just... Um, this is just how, uh, American education works. You know what I mean? So, um, but again, this is not me like responding to, to any uh, one in particular and simply just telling you how it is. It's actually sad that you guys have now been given this reputation yeah. because of the grand wizard. Yeah. Just because he lived near us. UK POCs experience oh racism gosh, just as much, if not more. Look at it. Yeah. The UK is no better than being racist. It's not racist. To love people, whiteprideradio.com. Cold. You know what's interesting? The fact they changed it. They changed this sign to make it more uh, friendly. They've modernized it. Now the billboard said Harrison Strong, but not a single person I'd spoken to seemed to endorse it. But that definitely doesn't mean that racism isn't here. It just means I haven't seen it yet. Could do with some representation. So I went into the <laughs> town center with the hope that racism would reveal itself. I went to get some food, I met a delightful friend group, and to be honest, the craziest thing I'd seen wasn't even racist. It was just something that shocked my English mind. To make it look like I'm talking to the camera. There's a kid with a gun. How the hell does a kid get a gun? Bro, that, hey, welcome to America. Welcome to America, my friend. That's right. <laughs> yep, yippee motherfucker. That's right. Yeet yeet! <laughs> Open carry like God intended. None of that UK bullshit. He's about to pop off and be like, at least our schools are not a shooting gallery. <laughs> um, America's different, man. But don't worry, not all kids were shooting guns. Some were shooting hoops. Basketball going on. Who's the best basketball player here? Me, this guy. That's you. What's your name? My name. They call me ringside. What I want to do is I want to take you on, and then if you beat me, I've got $20. Oh, yeah, let me hop in then. Let me hop in too. If you miss, you're done for. Ooh, oh, he's okay. Good. I think you're going to fumble the bag. Oh. Nope. Oh, God damn. Incredible. Guys, I'm a basketball player. I'm a basketball player. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh. He's dog shit. Wait, wait. He's not good. What is he? Is in oi bros dude i bet i bet he's a soccer guy isn't it you think i didn't have that in my locker but i play basketball that was terrible for him oh you got one what you got what you got 
Man's about to get proper smoke oh, then. Oh, sorry, man, sorry. Yeah, but I won't miss. Oh, God, that's dangerous. Listen, you won. Congratulations, the cannon. I appreciate it. He supports Arsenal. He's a gooner. I know you're good. I know you're good at this game. Chunks. I'm chunks, yeah. I'm chunks. If I'm being honest, everyone had accepted me in this town. Even Richard from the Magic game came back to meet up with me. From the videos which we've seen online, it looks like the whole town is racist. They make it look like the whole town is racist. From what I've seen, I haven't seen anything. I've seen people like you. The reason we get this racial. Bro, I don't understand why people are like, when they see, okay. Like, yo, when people look at like a video, of hyper uh, a video hyper focusing on like actually racist people that are responding to someone that is cut in that particular way that still doesn't mean the entire town is racist that's never a thing i don't know why people think like that an entire like there are beautiful brilliant anti-racist people everywhere in america okay everywhere in america there are awesome people that are stuck uh, in in shitty circumstances or they are like stuck around you know random uh weirdos okay he's trolling dude Reputation. this is the exact video you bash gdn for w <laughs> witty in for yeah from around the world i just wish people wouldn't i just i wish people would not uh have such uh like weird Liptard ass fucking attitudes on this issue. Um, uh, it, it is very, it is very frustrating to see that. It's even frustrating in the original video where like people are like, "Oh, this is like a super racist town. Everyone's fucking racist in this town." Uh, obviously, clearly, except for Zinc. It seems like everyone in Zinc is like, you know, the way it would sh uh, show itself instantly is if you were a white dude filming there and had a black friend do stuff near you, they would show their ass so fast, maybe, but. The point is this, um, the point I'm always trying to make is like anecdotes are not what you suppose, not what you're supposed to look at when it comes to racism. It's like a significantly more complex issue than that. Obviously, um, Nico actually didn't do the bridging the gap bullshit. No, he's not. I, and I, dude, I've seen his other videos. I mean, he's like very thoughtful. He's very good at like, uh, trolling and parsing through this sort of shit. Uh, there are whole towns that are giga racist though. That's true. That's true. Um, and even in the original video, yes, no pickles is right. Even in the original video, there were plenty of people who were not racist. They were anti-racist people in the original video in Harrison as well. So I just wish like liberals did not have, uh, and, and conservatives as well, but like liberals especially didn't have this kind of fucking attitude where they're just like, racism is one only happening when you see someone doing a hate crime. Uh, uh, to a black person to uh, the more like individual racist actions that occur in a town, the more racist the town is. And three, all of these, you, you literally call Santi Clanty because the clan is there. What do you want me to do? It's a joke. There's of course still incredible people that live there too. That probably fucking despise the clan. But what you're going to tell me that there isn't like a lot of white supremacist violence happening at Santi. And I'm not the one who came up with Clanty. Am I the one who came up with Clanty? No. Motherfuckers that live in San Diego came up with it. <clears throat> it's because we have a KKK leader that actually lives like 15 miles away. So why am I focusing on Harrison when one of the main reasons this town is seen as the most racist town in America is because of the leader of the KKK. I think I've realized that this man has given all the people from this town a bad name. He put up the billboard and he's the one who holds the racist marches. So far my experience of this town has been positive. There's been people like Richard who actively wanted to help me. He literally agreed to take me wherever I wanted for free, but it was even crazier when I spoke to him and found out the daily struggles he goes through every day. I've had multiple leg surgeries. I need to have a foot surgery, but- Really? Diabetic? Yeah, I've been putting that on the back burner quite a while they wanted thirty two hundred dollars up front really yeah and every day you're feeling that oh yes but it's just part of life for me this man is literally going through constant pain yet he still wants to help me and by no means am i saying that nobody in this town is racist. bro that see let me tell you something that is a fucking holy shit moment for a british person i suspect 
Dude, and a healthcare man. It's so fucking. It is so. Yep, that right there. That dude right there is like perfect example, dude. There are so many people who are just like suffering under our fucking gross, unequal system, just for no reason other than the fact that like we have decided that there is profit to be made. That guy is in every fucking town. There is so many of the. There's millions of that guy in every fucking town. Especially in southern uh, uh, towns, too. There, is a, there are a multitude of issues. I'm willing to bet that if I looked up uh, Harrison right now and the healthcare availabilities in Harrison, it's probably severely limited, too, because we also have a shortage of hospitals in rural towns, too, on top of that. It's just... It's so fucked, dude. It's so fucked. Then they blame black people or other minorities. No, not those guys. Like, not, not everyone is fucking brain broken like that. I'm sure the dudes in Zinc do, but... This chatter lives nearby. I'm I'm literally that guy, except I'm not a nerd. Dude, you are literally a 21-month subscriber. Okay? You are literally a 21-month subscriber in the Hassan Ivy broadcast. Pretty much all the young people in Harrison are anti-racist. Once all the old fucks die out, they'll be all right. I mean, come on. We've talked about this so many times, dude. That's not how that works. Shut up. But like, yeah, that's why I have so many fucking, that's why I have so many hostile heads in like red states, dude, because, you know, a lot of people look for uh, like-minded individuals uh, and, and realize that like, holy shit, not everyone is a fucking piece of shit in the way that I grew up and in and, uh, and the people that like surround me. Uh, that's why this place offers a sense of community to those who want to like, uh, who realize that like, yeah, no, there's, there are people out there that have like similar opinions to myself. That's, you know, that's how it works. I don't know. I have a lot of love for, I have a lot of love for the chatters that live in, uh, red States. I have a lot of love for uh, people like this dude, you know, it just fucking sucks. That's why I get mad at liberals when they're like, huh, you live in a red state. You chose to suffer. Like you brought this upon yourself, except for Ohio. If you're from Ohio, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I just, it's like so gross when I hear that shit, whenever people are just like, uh, -huh, you live in a red state, like as though your humanity is, is, uh, is conditional upon, uh, you know, voting for the democratic party or the Republican party. And that like you magically cease to exist. Even if you are a Democrat, you magically cease to exist. If you're living in a red state. Southern Stream Road Strip. Just got to bring security detail. Maybe some Punisher t-shirts. Nah, that's... I'm watching from a poor, racist, small town. My friends and I watch your broadcast together. That way we can divide the cost of subscription to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Shut the fuck up, dude. Six minutes in to the top of the hour and I get fucking jabated like this. Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, if you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe. Red state, blue state, doesn't matter. You're still going to get served the fucking ad, especially if you live in America, okay? But Twitch Prime, fear not, is free. As long as you have an Amazon Prime account connected to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. You can use it on your favorite broadcaster, who is me, I think, I hope. Okay? <sighs> get good? Yeah, no, I'm... Twitch Prime is free as long as you steal... Someone else's Amazon Prime account. It is free. When you steal someone else's Amazon Prime account and connect it to yours. Or if you get gifted a sub, that's free too. Here's a one-minute break now. Let's continue. I just don't think it's fair to say that this is the most racist town when the main reason they have this reputation is because of a man who doesn't even live there. So I think it's time for me to take my focus off Harrison and declare war on the KKK and whoever their mystery leader is. What better place to start? By the way, I gave props. Oh, dude, fuck yeah, Walmart. I gave props to Gideon for doing this, for like actually fucking trying to meet the clan person, okay? And the uh, same props goes to Nico as well for trying to meet this dude. Like, you're literally putting yourself and your life at risk. Uh, uh, straight up. In a way that, like, uh, I myself as a white person, white passing person, will never understand. Never experience. Than Walmart, the place featured in that viral video. So I suited up and spoke to the people. Literally came from the UK just to document this area for on behalf of the BBC. What's with this town and the whole connection to the KKK?
And where would they have those meetings? Sometimes they'd be held at the Hotel Seville. The hotel, they'd be in the Hotel Seville? Yeah. So they were having meetings in the hotel which we're in right now. So that's got like racist links. Oh my gosh, the hotel was staying in as a racist hotel. It's just part of the reason why my, my husband and my stepson won't move out here. Yeah, no, I can imagine. So your, your husband's black? Yeah. So you're, you're with it, man. You're with the cause. <laughs> Fight the power. <laughs> but it was time for me to find out who the wizard was and how. Dude, that hotel was actually a, that then that in and of itself was a great example, right? Like it laughs in BLM. Uh, that in and of itself was a great example. Like the lady herself was probably not racist. You know what I mean? Like the lady that was at the hotel lobby, like for the people that work there, probably not racist, but they are at least like not super confrontational or at least super uncomfortable with the presence of the clan and like allow the clan to, uh, to, to host meetings and shit there. Like that's, that's a great example of how innocuous this shit can be. And it goes way beyond, um, you know, people being uh, outwardly racist to black people. How I could find it. I was wondering if you could help me. I hear the great leader of the KKK or the grand leader of the KKK is in. Our homie sure looks like a, like a Mormon. <laughs> He's out here looking like a Jehovah's Witness. Zinc. I have the foggiest idea. Can you draw me a map? on where we can go to find them. Your dad's just helping me. He's drawing me a map just to find um, well, someone. I'm not drawing you a map because I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, I don't know where it's at or what, what. Okay, do you know anyone who would? No. Of, of what? So um, we're just doing a documentary here for the BBC uh -huh. and, and we're trying to find the grand leader of the um, Triple K. I know that he has a compound in Zinc. In zinc. And, zinc. and whereabouts is this compound? That part, I don't know. Bro, he just looks straight Mormon right now, dude, with the clipboard and everything, dude. He's like, you know, he's here to convert the unfaithful Jebediahs. Zinc, zinc Road. Take the north side. If you could, if you could just put it, put it down. It's Damn, easy. bro, Dad went from like I don't know where they are to like, oh, that's Zinc Road. Let me, let me draw a map real quick. <laughs> map. Thomas Rob. Oh, that's his name, Thomas yeah, Rob. Thomas Rob. He's actually the Thomas. The leader out here. Thomas Rob. Yeah. He's supposed to be a big man. Okay. Fucking men okay. Just draw me how the house looks. Other than that. This is, honestly, thank you so much. You should be proud of your parents. They've really helped me here today for the cause. Yeah, let's go. Bro, people be like, oh, is he actually with the BBC? Why are people believing him? Dude, this is the first British person this person has ever met in his life. You understand that, right? What fucking British person, what oibrov is going to Harrison, Arkansas, dude? Like, what are you talking about? He's the 54th black person in Harrison right now. And probably the first and last British person that will ever go to Harrison. So, yeah. In that situation, you're like, yeah, I believe you. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you believe that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just like that, the moment we discovered who the Grand Wizard of the KKK was, an inside man from the KKK called the police on us and they escorted us off the property. Well, what? We've now left, so... Hi. There's the snitch, right over there. The wizard obviously has people here trying to stop us from finding him. But it was too late, because I already had his name. Thomas Robb, <laughs> leader of the Ku Klux Klan. And something tells me he's not a very nice person. My friend. Oh, there's TOS here, you said, right? Where was it? Where was the TOS, boys? Where was the TOS, boys? Boys, 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 boys. The guy is the giga racist of hell, too. Uh, I'm going to take my dad there to make him the second British person there. Don't do that, dude. Don't subject. <laughs> I don't even know if that guy uh, is actually part of the clan or if he just saw a black person and called uh, the cops. <laughs> uh, it shows an old pic of a lynching. Okay, thank you. 1604, got it. When the Lord touched your heart. We have the illegal aliens. That's it. bad enough, but we're bringing millions of so-called legal aliens. My white brothers and sisters, you are a race of warriors any race of conquerors. I think gay people's abomination. The Ku Klux Klan is an American white supremacist terrorist and hate group, also known as the KKK, who have a history of many brutal killings of black people to keep them under their control. Even today, their goal remains. For the record, this is what I meant when I said uh, in the Judean video, when I was responding to it, I was like, this is what I meant when I said like violent, a history of violently racist activity. Another Thomas Hogg was killed for bestiality. Lamau thought that was funny. Wait, what? white supremacy and a white ruled America. Sounds stupid, right? 
Well, not stupid enough because they still have many, many members. So I think someone needs to go down there and make these people look as stupid as they are. And Wild that you have to explain yourself. I know, bro. I know. I know. I just want to like, look, I care more about fucking making sure that people understand than to, to deal with like, like my overarching goal always is to, my overarching goal is to always fucking educate people. So I don't give a shit. I just want to make sure that like, there's no, I don't know. I just want to be as clear as possible. So people understand that and, and don't come in here with like uncharitable perspectives thinking that I'm like, uh, you know, um, it's fine. That kind of clarity is all right. It's it's whatever. My dad grew up in Arkansas, and I have family there. It was to visit. He used to talk about how racist, homophobic, small town was. He he really resented it. I think growing up small minded community like that can really mess you up as a person. Um, I uh, wasn't really for kids to do, but get drunk on a field. Lots of addiction issues. Really want my really want to visit my family there, but I'm trans, and my mom doesn't want me to. I'll give it my best shot. So it's time for me to track down Thomas Robb to Zinc. And there was only one man I wanted to take me there. Is that my favorite man from Arkansas? Thank uh, you so much, man. Nice to see you again. Yeah, amazing to see you, man. Today we're going on adventures together. Absolutely. What we do have here, which potentially, hopefully you could take us to, okay. is a map to Zinc. I was wondering if you- <laughs> I love his map, dude. You take us there. I'll do my best. Thank you, my friend. The map gave us the key, which has now activated the route to our destination. So I made myself look presentable, and I headed to the place where everyone said the racists reside. Racism treasure, man. Feeling nervous? If you're confident, I'm confident, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, what's the channel name? I like this guy. This is Nico Omelana. Um, I might be saying his name wrong, actually. He's an Oibrov. Uh, he's done a bunch of videos like this. Uh, we watched a couple of his earlier, or one of his earlier videos, like trolling the EDL, which I really, really liked. Uh, didn't realize that he was in America. Um, I just also DM'd him. Uh, I don't know if he's around or not, but it'd be dope to have him on the stream at some point. I hope he's not one of those people that just, like, fucking hates me because, like, he's just heard random dumb shit does happen sometimes. Yo, vid, bruv. Never seen it. Nick O, not Nico. Okay. <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about Zinc, and absolutely none of it was positive. Now this looks like a place called Zinc. Unfortunately, the map only seemed to take us to the town of Zinc. Bro, look, this is the other part of the reality, okay? A lot of these people, when we say they're victims of circumstance, this is it, okay? Like, look, look at this. This is how they live, okay? I mean, what, 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 you got nothing. You got nothing going on. And the only sense of community you get is from like fucking, you know, the white supremacist church, okay? This is why we advocate solve the underlying material inequalities in an effort to engage in acts of anti-racism this is why i always say universal health care is an absolute must okay doesn't matter if you're a, a kind individual like richard living in a small town you deserve health care uh it doesn't matter even if you're a racist person living in this uh, potentially living in that trailer i don't know if the person living there is racist or not but like Oh, someone's trying to bait you into a band by opening their user card. Don't open user cards on stream today. Nice, dude. That's my favorite fucking... That's so sick. Thanks, guys. Like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. That's awesome, dude. Typical, typical psychopathic, pathological weirdo. Hey, listen, you deserve fucking healthcare too, okay? You know? Probably would be less inclined to do shit like that if you were already if you did already get like the adequate mental health uh, treatment that you you deserve by virtue of being a human we couldn't see this mansion that had been so beautifully drawn out but the town population is literally 100 so i was confident we could track him down but it didn't take long for us to get attacked oh great <laughs> great what's going on listen dogs yo what the hell's going on? Listen, calm Barks down, you racist, racist dogs. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pussy. I know what he's speaking to me right now. He's definitely being racist in dog. <laughs> Kill this dog. 
Leave me alone. George is right there. George is so close to him and he's going for me. But luckily we ended up finding this guy who gave us directions. Hi, my friend. Um, we're, we're just here to interview uh, Thomas Robb. Is the next dirt road to your right? And this took us deep into zinc. There was no going back now. No signal here, are there? Have you lost signal? Uh, That's have. fucking terrifying, dude. You quite possibly could get shot or hurt and then try to sue, resulting in a long, drawn-out court battle. You will lose because this sign will be. What, what the fuck? Goddamn. Yeah, I got to grab something real quick. I'll be back. This is that house. Okay, well, I will, knocking I will. on a KKK leader's door. I wish you luck. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much for driving us out here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Epic gamer. It's... Hello? What do we do? We knock? Oh, Confederate. Let's speak to this person. Hello, my friend. I need to leave. I'm I'm here on behalf of the BBC. Are we not able to have a conversation? Give me a call tomorrow, and maybe we'll link. Okay. Uh, how, how can I give you a call? Can I just get your number just so I can give you a call? Oh, uh, we'll call you up. Okay. Thank you. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, that, that is okay, well, dude. Wait, well, hold up. Hold on. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. Let me. Let me let me position my let me let me sit the fuck down for this part. That is insane. The fact that you're in a situation like that and you fucking turn around and you're like, no, I'm gonna continue. That's wild. Sit your white ass down and listen. I mean, dude, that's what, that's what I'm here. I mean that that is. Wait, let me just like run it back. I'm sorry. I want to see. Door. I, I want to see. I'm sorry. I Thank missed you, it. Richard. Thank you so much for driving us out here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Epic gamer. Also, Richard is a proper mad lad too for driving him, dude. It's... Hello. What do we do? We knock. Oh, Confederate. Ah! Let's speak to this person. Hey, stars and bars, baby. Hello, uh -oh. my friend. No, you need to leave. I'll need to leave. I'm, I'm here on behalf of the BBC. Are we not able to have a conversation? Give me a call tomorrow, and maybe we'll link. Okay, uh, how, how can I give you a call? Can I just get your number just so I can give you a call? Uh, we'll call you up. Okay, thank you. Is that him? Yeah, that was him. So we're now going to try and do this properly by booking in an interview with him tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we could make something work. The only reason he seemed up for taking an interview with me is because I told him I worked for the BBC. So I'm going to run with that and say that we're running a positive story on the KKK and hopefully that tricks him into accepting an interview. Hello, come in. Hello, is this Thomas Robb? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here we go. I don't think, for the record, I don't think they give a shit because they understand PR, right? Like, Klansmen are very, like... Klansmen, neo-Nazis, like all these fucking racists, like even looking at that, um, that billboard, right? If you looked at that billboard, like they, they're not saying like, you know, kill black people on the billboard, even if that's their overarching attitude, right? Offend them. No, I'm obvious. Uh, it's your vote, Um, but like. Uh, they're they're gonna try to market themselves in an approachable way because they want to like you know increase their numbers. Um. So. So that they know like they know that the BBC is probably not gonna write like positive coverage on them, but they don't really give a shit because they're or it, it corresponds to their overarching goal of like trying to, uh, get the word out right.
Hello, yes I'm here. I'd love to get an interview with you. Um, I've come from the UK to speak to you. We're trying to do a story on why the KKK isn't racist. Uh, we basically just want to uh, talk it all over with you, if that's okay. <laughs> How about coming out here, uh, not to my home, yep. but to the church right next door. You probably know where it's at. Thank you, thank you yep. so much. Bye. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know we did the impossible. Oh my gosh. You know what happens when you just say, oh, I'm from the UK, I'm from the BBC. He just thinks this is some important thing. He didn't even, do any, didn't even think to do any research. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just BBC. And I am a BBC. The fact this man has accepted an interview with the BBC with no background check or any need for identification shows his stupid intelligence level. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. My bad, mate. All good, homie. For years, Thomas Robb has had interviews and has been able to put the... ...be taking advantage of that. My bad, mate. All good, homie. For years... That is insane, bro. That's Gideon. Like, they literally fucking, they, they shot this at the same time. Why didn't they actually, like, they planned it together? Why didn't they, like, uh, why did they do, like, an Easter egg? You know what I mean? Why did they do more than, uh, why didn't they do more than just, like, an Easter egg? I didn't even notice he was in the GDN video, by the way. Here's Thomas Robb has had interviews and has been able to put the KKK's racist views out into the world and I think it's time for someone to troll this man and make him look like the idiot he Happened on this video as well, you missed it? No, I, I mean, I, they I'm planned sure it, like, I'm sure they planned it as, my like, an Easter egg, but... Yeah, I'm, like, really nervous, like, I'm really... That's crazy. That's pretty funny. I mean, that's cool. For a living. Thing? He is. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're about to meet up with the leader of the KKK. In the past, when I've spoken to racist people, I always try to avoid confronting them because the moment you confront them, you get no information. We're trying to show what he actually believes. I, I genuinely want to find out, and then we start the trolling. But God, there is no organization more racist than the KKK. So I'm genuinely scared to hear what he's going to say. You should not troll him. Oh, oh, this is crazy. So this is it. So we're here. I, know, I wonder if uh, the reason why Gideon didn't do the interview is because like, and this is something I want to ask him personally, but I wonder if it's because like he would have like, if he did the interview, like, he would be in significantly more trouble than he did because, like, the, the KKK is not going to reach out to him and fucking um, reach out to him in, like, uh, Oibrov town. But they probably could. Uh, they probably could reach out to Gideon and, like, actually harm him. You know what I mean? Wherever he lives. At the home of Thomas Robb, home of the KKK, here we are. Big up, Tom. I'm off. A shooter's worldwide, bro. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, where, wherever you think is best. I'm about to interview the leader of the KKK and run with the name Imar Nantz. This could go very wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. What's your name? Imar. How much did you say? I'm a, I'm a nuns. And what other pieces you've done? Have you, have you heard of the English Defense League in, in the UK? Well, I haven't. Have you heard of the English Defense League? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know about the English Defense League? Okay. Yeah, so, so basically the English Defense League, they just basically want to keep England for English. Oh, uh -huh. that's not reasonable. So you did an interview with them? Yes, I've done interviews with them in the past. We well, watched some of them, they're great. The BBC. We're here with Thomas Robb. By the way, the guy who brought him in is the same guy, right, that, that Gideon was talking to. My name is Thomas Robb. I'm the uh, National Director of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm here with Imar Norris and... Nons. 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 So I, Imar Nons. 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 So N-O-N-S. Nons. Can, can you say Nons? Nons. <laughs> Nons. Nons. N-O-N-S. 
Yes. Uh, well, Nas? Bro, he said he wasn't going to troll him until later. He literally started with a fucking troll. But, like, I mean, if the homie doesn't know what EDL is, he's not going to know what a nonce is either. He's trying to get him to say, I'm a nonce. You know? So nonce. Nonce? Yes, perfect. Nonce. I'm here with Imar Nance. So now, if we, if we can just do that from the top. My name's Thomas Robb, I'm here with Imar Nance, and he's with BBC. And yeah. we're here having an enjoyable conversation about, about my involvement uh, with the Knights of the Q Klux Klan. I'm national director, and welcome here to the Ozarks. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome. Really appreciate this. This is the highlight of my career. The highlight of your oh. career? Honestly, oh. I'm, being, I'm being real with you. First off, Thomas, um, could you just tell us about the KKK? When people hear the, the name KKK, all kinds of images come to their mind. We read in his books that the Klan were organized to subdue and put down black people. The no, purpose of, we don't view ourselves as being anti black Wait. To subdue and put down black people. The no, purpose of, we don't view ourselves as being anti black. We want to preserve our heritage, we want to preserve our culture, we want to preserve who our, our identity. You want to stay white. There's nothing there's nothing ra a racist about that. Absolutely. It really annoys me when people say um, that the KKK is racist because there's nothing pointing towards the KKK being well, racist at all. How did you start your journey with the Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like assigned? Did they like start you off on like quests I, I, or anything? I, I was I was always involved in. I don't care what he's involved in, if I'm honest. I just wanted to move on to the more important questions. Have you seen any of like the other clans out there? Uh, I've seen clans like FaZe Clan, Optic Clan. I just think they're idiots. Yeah, like, yeah, no, one, no one would be a higher prestige level than you. Years ago, I used to go and speak for some other clan. But after a while, I thought, these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to be connected to these people. So I finally stopped yeah, no, speaking no. to other, other groups and so I feel that if I would have joined and pursued a career, scoping. I could have very, yeah. been very successful in those careers also. Yeah, they mean well, but they just don't have what it takes to take a their professional to, the, to the levels of the sure. Ku Klux. Would there be someone from FaZe Clan here? I don't know. We don't ask. We don't Optic. Ask. I don't ask. Yeah. Don't oh, fair, fair. So we, don't, we, don't. we don't discriminate in this church. Maybe we do. I don't know. Oh, oh. oh yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we do because everybody's so, not welcome in our church. I'm sorry. So could I come to this church? No. no. Okay. No, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. What do you think of the people who say <laughs> that you're racist? What do you mean by a racist? Someone who doesn't like black people or has prejudices towards black people. Uh, even those words don't... What do those words mean? I've got prejudice. Of course I do. Everybody has prejudice. Sorry, was that a, a dumb question? I mean, I prefer being around white people. I'm sorry. That's the way it is, you know? Oh, and you... you No, but, like, I'm, I'm like a supporter of you, so... Uh, including me? Like, you prefer being around... White people. I'll be your friend, but you're not going to come over to my house for a barbecue. Oh, you wouldn't invite me? <laughs> no. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah it makes uh, sense. Uh, uh, and that's, is that because of color? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm a separatist. I preserve oh. my own people. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not offended by if a black person says, hey, I prefer being around other black, yeah. my black brothers. Fine, I understand that. Yeah. I prefer being around my family than some strange family. Me, personally, as a, as a fan, of, fan of you, I'm not trying to portray all oh, the KKK as racist because I've never seen anything racist no. by the KKK. It goes back to the idea of what is a racist. If a racist is someone who hates black people and wants to do them harm or something that, then obviously I'm, I, I have no desire to, I have no de desire to see misfortune come to a black child. Yeah. I have no desire for that. I feel, no, I feel, I feel compassion for a, a young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs or get shot by a drive-by shooting. I feel as much compassion for them. Bro, what the fuck is up with this dude's accent, dude? Why is he? Why is he talking like that? Hesitates and raises. It's so, it's such a weird, <clears throat> am I crazy? Like, you don't think it's like such a weird, it, I, I know he's got like, a, you know, his nose, it seems like he's got something, he's congested, you know, but also, but also on top of that, like, he's just like very, very, very weird. Uh, his accent is like very weird. I, I got to qualify that. I probably feel more compassion for a white child. I have, I just have to say. Oh my God. He literally, dude, that's awesome. Sorry, I got to run it back. He literally was like, oh shit, people are going to see this. And then they're going to think like he likes black people. I, I have no desire to, I have no de desire to 
see misfortune come to a black child. Yeah. I have no desire for that. I feel, no, I feel, I feel compassion for a, a young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs or gets shot by a drive-by shooting. I feel as much compassion for them. Mm. I've I got to qualify that. I probably feel more compassion for a white child. I, have, I just have to say that. I personally, I believe that the black people in this country would be much better off if somebody like me was running things than the liberal crackpots that we got in Washington, D.C. today. Why has there never been like a KKK party? In this country, okay, up until... Wait, if we, if we just look down the lens while, while we say this part. Okay, in this country, up until somewhere in the 1960s, this country was, was a dominant white rule, white, yeah. white power structure, what I'll call that. That's not the way it is today. Yeah, things have changed now. The only way it's going to... Bro, man's doing CRT, dude! <laughs> bro! Bro, homie's doing critical race theory, dude! What the fuck? He said there was a white power structure in this country until the 60s. <laughs> Which, uh, ironic, because, like, I mean, he's right. But also, uh, you know, that never went away. It's just not as racist as he would like it to be. Sorry. To go back. In my mind, maybe I'm wrong. I'll always, always say, well, maybe I'm wrong. But it, it, until white people re once again control this nation black people will be unsafe in their own neighborhoods by their own people from what you've said i really respect you speaking from the heart like this i actually did some documenting in the uk as well where there was a group of supporters for the kkk in a town called clapped and i think that honestly you're, you're like a clapped guy if you could shout out the the people from clapped the supporters of the kkk and clapped of anybody out there in the uk in the uk yeah in the uk and clapped. in the uk ireland scotland wales yeah. Um, England, howdy. I just know they would have appreciated a shout out. Well, shout out. How does motherfucker not know what the EDL is, but knows the, of the existence of Wales, okay? Why is there a Welsh independence flag back there? Can someone describe to me why this guy even knows? Like, why is he addressing Wales? Wales has never been addressed. Very weird flags over there, back there. It's, it's wild. He's really into white people. Bro, he didn't even know EDL, dude. I'm a bigger nerd for racism than he is, dude. What the fuck? You don't even know EDL, bitch? Name three of their fucking albums, dog. Oh, you say you're a white supremacist? Name three of their hate crimes, dude. Homie's out here, like, literally just wearing the shirt for the band and doesn't even fucking know any of the hate crimes or the hate criminals. I'm sorry, bro. I'm calling your racism into question, dude. I could be a way better racist than you. Straight up. Fucking Grand Wizard. More like fucking Wizard of Oz over here, dude. Motherfucker's like Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter fan type wizard. Fucking lib, dude. I'm pissed off right now. <laughs> No, he's just a poser. Straight up. Straight up poser, dude. I'm saying it. Fucking this guy. Surprisingly, just... I think he's just like... He's really stupid. <laughs> I mean, this is a good thing, but... Uh, yeah, the clan seemingly has, like, uh, fallen out of favor. But I guess part of it is because, like... You have Stephen Miller in the White House and Stephen Bannon and shit. You don't really need to. You don't really need to clan. You've moved beyond the need for the clan, I guess. Shout out to the people from Clapped. Shout out. Thomas is a clap guy. <laughs> I don't really know the clap people. So I, maybe I'm wrong. No, you are. You are. Okay, I'm a clap guy. All right, um, forgive me, clap people. <laughs> <laughs> now that Thomas had called himself clapped. It was time for me to reveal the ace up my sleeve. We run a group in the UK called the UK Stand with um, the KKK. We made a post of me and you together and we mentioned if anyone wanted a shout out, maybe we pick three names and you just shout them out. There, there are your supporters. Let me see you got there. Thank you all the people from the UK Stand with KKK. Right here we have Thomas and he's going to be shouting your names out. I, I, I map. You say? I map, you say. I don't know my I map, you say, but I map, you say says can't wait. 
for, I guess for the interview. So, yeah. well, there it is. As you can see, it's great. And then we got a BL. 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 M. BLM. Yeah. See, he's the best, I guess. Shout out BLM. I'm a shout out to you, and then. So shout out to who? To BLM. Yeah. Yeah, and it says he so, love him. I don't know. Hope that guy's not gay. So. <laughs> Oh my god! Bro, this dude is a donkey, dude. Straight up. The dumbest motherfucker. I mean, listen. Listen. The expectation you usually have, even for the fucking KKK, because, like, obviously, if you're a part of the clan, like, you're an idiot, right? But, like, I would have expected him to be, like, just a little bit smarter. Holy fuck. These homies are just, this is literally what systemic inbreeding does, dude. White purity politics. There you go. Another reason he has a whale's flag behind him. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why, but he couldn't even detect BLM, dude. Are you kidding me? He's not even like, he's not even, <laughs> he's not even like skeptical of, of Nico's presence. Bro, this dude is going to lose his clan grand wizard status. I swear to God. After this, the clan, dude, once he gets back to the next rally, you're going to be like, brother, we're taking away your robe. Give me your fucking robe right now. You made us look like fools. You said BLM. You said you said shouts out to BLM. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm picturing the next clan rally and they are eating his ass in the QRTs, okay? The fuck? <laughs> you said shouts out to BLM. What the fuck? <laughs> Sue Kabedic. Sue. Sue yeah. Kabedic. Yeah, Sue Kabedic. Yeah. I guess I pronounced that right. Yeah. Says love him, so I I appreciate people like me. I like I like yeah, that. No, all the, like all me. these people are, and that's the thing. Oh, you right, have fantastic. you have a lot of supporters well, in the UK. Thank you so much for shouting them out. Right. Let's round it up properly because too um, comedic. We'll look down the lens. Introduce your name properly. So just say I'm Thomas, member of the KKK. I've enjoyed um, this BBC. I'm Thomas Raab. I'm a, a, a national director for the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, and I enjoyed yeah. this. Uh, interview with with the BBC. No, it's this BBC. So it's just I've enjoyed this BBC. It's a BBC interview. I've enjoyed this BBC. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. There's, no, it's been a, a proper deep interview. <laughs> I appreciate it. The BBC. So am I the first mixed race person in this church? No. no. We've had reporters from every European nation. We had BBC uh, here before, a number of years yeah. ago. Oh, so this is the second time you've had a second, BBC. Second, third time, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So your experience with the BBC? We've, we've done we've done a lot of done a lot of interviews here mm -hmm. over the years. Any any as deep as this one? It is as what? As deep as this one. Oh yeah, sure. You've had a proper deep sure. experience with yeah. the BBC. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Thomas Rob, you have no idea what you've just done. I'm not the BBC. I'm just a random man making a mockery of everything you stand for. I won't touch that just in case. I disintegrate. Okay, BBC. Here we have the flag of the Ku Klux Klan. No, this is the Knights Party. Huh? It's not a Klan flag. It's a oh, flag of the okay. Knights. Of the Knights Party. So they're different. Correct. Okay. Okay, BBC. Here we have the flag. Oh, wait, wait, we, we haven't got the shot yet. And here we have the flag of the Knights Party. Honestly, man, you've, you've, you've really smashed this interview. We need to wrap it up, though, because I'm there. You've, you've got stuff to do. Thomas Robb, <laughs> leader of the Ku Klux Klan. He's like, you need to wrap it up. I got a, a cross to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do some hate crimes, all right? Has taken this BBC. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No problem. Such a deep interview. All right, you're welcome. Appreciate you. Okay. Thomas Robb had taken my BBC and was now struggling to walk, but I had one final question to ask him. I did mean to ask about the, the hoods in the Do you ever wear those hoods, the pointy things? We have them for a cross light in the ceremony. Okay, all right. And just as a, like a side question, have, have you ever like made love with the hood on? I'm not a 
Yeah. He okay. has. Well, fair enough. Let's oh, he has. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, he definitely has, bro. Oh, come on. Oh, he de Oh my God, he literally said, "I'm not gonna answer that." That's a yes, bro. That's a yes. Okay. All right. And just as a thing, you did mean to ask about the the hoods in the class. Do you ever wear those hoods, the pointy things? We have them for a cross light in the self service. Okay. All right. And just as a like a side question, have have you ever like made love with the hood on? Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's just get this pick and uh, and we'll go. At this moment, Thomas Rob had realised he had been swindled and he was burning. So never made love with the hood. He didn't, didn't say no, Thomas. Oh, you, great. You, you degraded yourself now. At the interview is over. I'm sorry. You get in the car. You may leave. Okay. Perfect. Appreciate you, Thomas. Thanks for the interview. Just got BBC'd. Bro, dude, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, dude, 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 dude. This is not like... I don't know. Dude, what the fuck? Bro, bro, get out immediately. Oh, no. <laughs> we tricked this man into thinking we were the BBC, and now this man will never take an interview. He has been invited. He can't be shot anymore. Bro, are you kidding me? You know, if they fucking shot him... And they just erased the footage from his camera. You would not know. Like, this video would not. There would be no mention of any of this. Ever again. He will have trust issues for the rest of his life. Wish the fellows in Clap a good time. Yeah, I know. Well, you're all a bunch of Clap guys. <laughs> Come down to Claps in the UK. Because anyone from the KKK is Clapped. Right. <laughs> clap guy. Big up. <laughs> Oh, he fucking gathered the courage to dab up a black person. He didn't get. He did not do that for uh, Gideon. Back. <laughs> right? Did he dab him up? Did he actually dab him up? What we have done today is we got the leader of the KKK, arguably the most racist man in the world, to shout out BLM. <laughs> that was the best part. You know how it? funny that is, and he has no idea, absolutely no clue. He said that. I disgraced myself by asking him if he makes love with his hood on. Like he hasn't disgraced himself with his words. <laughs> but listen, my friends, we do this, number one, because it's right, but also because we wanted to get to the bottom of the story. Harrison, Arkansas is not a racist town. However, it is home to the most racist person. But the heart of Arkansas has incredible people like Richard, and that's what I was gonna take away. I'm not gonna say there's no racism in Harrison because of course there is. People have obviously experienced racism there and it definitely exists. But to label the entire town as racist is just not true and it's not fair on many of the great people who live in Harrison, including the ones- <laughs> Final verdict, not all racist. That I met. Like Richard, the man who literally helped me prank the KKK, one of the world's most feared organizations, and he did this after knowing me for 48 hours. That's ridiculous. And there was one final thing I needed to talk to him about. All right, Richard, I have a confession to make. I don't actually work for the BBC. I, I kind of figured that a few days ago. At what point did you realize? Your education. You said you only went to uni for one day. So at that point you realized, I just didn't have the guts to then tell you I didn't work for the BBC. But honestly, you have made this whole journey. <laughs> you couldn't have done any of this without Damn, it. Damn, what a beautiful story though. He goes, I always knew. You know what I mean? This was a love story, dude. What a wonderful video. And I feel like you are the best representation of Harrison. Criticism the same, too comfortable with systemic racism. This isn't funny, smile. Okay, <clears throat> I mean, if you think that this is like a similar video w uh, that the that Gideon made, I don't know what to fucking tell you. I think it's like dramatically different, especially because like there is literally alternative. Uh, there's there's historical context of what the KKK does. Uh, he's going at it not with like uh, he's going into the interview with an oppositional standpoint where he already is like there to just make fun of the person. This interview is exactly uh, the opposite of uh of not even like he's not even accidentally whitewashing the kkk he is uh providing nuance and and also like that's the thing i liked about gideon's interview too when he's talking to the fucking separatists like he actually got the dude to comfortably admit a bunch of fucking racist shit that was my favorite part of his conversation which is why i was also shocked when it came across like he was defending him uh, when he reacted to my reaction uh, and said that my chat was more racist and I was more racist potentially than, than the fucking dude he was talking to.
Um, <clears throat> Leon literally said the other video was fake and not a representative of the town, and this guy said not all racist. What? British, he has a European nuance. I mean, dude, look, listen, like, he obviously has done a lot of this. Uh, I mean, we watched a bunch of his EDL footage. Like, it was really fucking good. So. Um, okay, let's lie. I was really sorry to hear about uh, what you were telling me about the other day with your like foot. Oh, he's gonna give him money for his uh, foot. I wanted just because you're a great guy to, to help you out. That's so, so nice. What I've done, I've got a thousand dollars, and then I want to send you a further four thousand dollars later on as well. Thank you. Just because you're a great guy, Richard. Honestly, you are an amazing guy. Thank you. So um, hopefully you can get your foot surgery. You're a living legend, my friend. Thank you. Bro, there's people like this in every fucking town, okay? Liberals who think, like, red states means you're racist automatically or that, like, uh, you know, you're, like, all only bad people live there. Remember, another thing that liberals also often forget is that there's a fuckload of black people that live in Republican states, so there's that too. But anyway, yeah, there's so many people like this. They all deserve a life of dignity. They all deserve health care. They all deserve a... a uh, opportunity to live a stimulating and fulfilling life. Okay? From the <clears throat> bottom of my heart, thank you. This is one of the nicest things that anyone's done for me in a long time. And, uh, it's been a while, dude. It's been a while. Listen, man, uh, any, any way I can help you. Uh, I'm glad. Look, give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. That's Thank so you, cute, you dude. Been the same you said, you know. I really appreciate you, man. And honestly, just your outlook on life, everything. Just really I spent an evening with Nico just as nice off camera. He seems like a good dude. Uh, I, I, I think his videos are pretty thoughtful and and pretty funny. He reminds me of the the South African dudes. That are also pretty good at trolling like racist pieces of shit. <clears throat> yeah, he just, dude, this is beautiful. He he brought the power of Magic the Gathering. Well, my friends, we came to this random state in America and met some great people. But I can safely say I will never be returning here again as the KKK now have a direct reason to target me. So my friends of the NDL, we have defeated another enemy. Oh, no way. Is Daniel from earlier from when he gave us a lift to the hotel? He came all this way to see us off. That's so nice. Not kidding, Lamau. We had to meet up with him because somehow George left the GoPro on top of his car after he dropped us off. So he came all this way to return it. Yeah, I guess to see us off. What a nice man. Cheers, Daniel. Proper ledge. Didn't even use the GoPro short in the end anyway. Lol. Please like and subscribe to join us. You're not ready for what's coming next. Dude, it's fucking... That was great. This was a wonderful video. Um... <clears throat> This was a wonderful video by Nico Omelana. Uh, Josh Peters and Archie Manners. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Um, I mean, this is the type of video that makes me want to, like, uh, uh, watch more of his videos. Like, it was fucking dope. Nico really just took a three-month break from YouTube but came back with the most banger video ever. Yeah, this dude is fucking fire. This is a man.